welcome to Earth Angel TV, the show created by Earth Angels for Earth Angels. I'm Michelle Gordon and I'm the author of the Earth Angel series and the Magical Fairy Door. So this is the final episode of January and today's theme again is about money. Now I did have a question from an Earth Angel called Bonnie who wanted me to talk a little bit about Earth Angels and money which is what inspired this, uh, this theme for January and her question specifically was about how Earth Angels can charge for their services. Now, many Earth Angels do healing work, or they are mediums or psychics, or they do some kind of spiritual practice, and many of them find it difficult to charge money for what they do. But they have no problem with maybe trading services, or swapping, or maybe receiving gifts in return, and really, when you think about it, that's all money is as well. It's a means of exchange. It's, a, it's an energy exchange. Money is energy, as everything is energy. So really it's about examining your beliefs around money itself. What, what did you grow up with? What were you told as a child? Basically whatever you learn up to the age of seven is probably where your money issues come from. Like I said in my video on savings, you know, something happened when I was a child that stopped me from liking saving money. So I just never save money anymore and literally never save money from then till now. So look at your beliefs, look at your experiences with money and start to change your perception of it if you can. So you could use tapping, you could use EFT to, um, to change, to reprogram those beliefs. And really if you see money as energy and you say, you know, this is how much energy I am giving somebody when I do a reading, when I do a healing, when I write a book, whatever it is, this is how much energy I am giving. And therefore, this is how much energy I need in return. Because then it's an even exchange. If you keep giving and giving and giving and never receiving money in return, which is energy, then there's, a, there's an imbalance in that exchange. And it means that you will deplete yourself and you will never be able to renew yourself because you need that money to buy healthy foods, to be able to do fitness classes if you want to, to be able to look after yourself. So really, the energy that you're receiving from somebody is, is to help you to be able to continue doing your mission. Because if you don't eat properly, you don't exercise, you don't look after yourself, you're, you're going to burn out and you're not going to be able to help people. So it's about changing your perception of money and seeing it as an energetic exchange. So, you know, I've given 30 minutes of my energy, I'm receiving 30 pounds of money energy in return. Even if you literally have to rename money as something else, it doesn't matter what techniques you use. What matters is that you start to see it in a different light. So you start to see money in a different way. And change your beliefs that to be spiritual, you have to be living below the poverty line. That's not true. You can't help people if you need help yourself. <laughs> you know, you can't help people if you don't have any money and you're barely scraping by. And in fact, there's a book that I would recommend everybody read, especially Earth Angels, called Scarcity. And the book talks about what your mind does and your brain bandwidth and everything when you live in scarcity, when you live in lack. And it's fascinating. It's really, really fascinating. And basically, the gist of it is, when you are living in lack, when you are living in a scarcity mindset, you are of no use to anybody because you can't plan ahead, you can't think beyond paying your next bill, you literally don't have the brain bandwidth to be able to come up with creative ideas and to, and to live joyfully. So check out that book, I highly recommend it. I've read it a few years ago and I plan on reading it again actually because it really is quite fascinating what scarcity does to the mind and to the brain. So I'd say for any Earth Angel who's struggling to price your services, to charge, for your services, really do examine how you feel about money, what your money stories are, and just change your perception of it. Become friends with money. And you can do that by checking out my account system, which is on the first video that I released in January. You can look at the savings video that I did, and also look at the depth year video, which was last week. Um, and really just become friends with money, enjoy looking at what money you have or don't have. Enjoy managing it and creating budgets and make it a fun, make it a game. You know, find a way to make it enjoyable and then you'll soon find that you don't even have to worry about it, you don't have to think about it because it's just there and the abundance is flowing. So try to change your perception of 
what it is to charge for your services. If you feel like, oh, money's dirty or it's, oh, it's, it's not spiritual to ask for it or whatever, look at those beliefs, release those beliefs, they are not serving you, it is not, it doesn't serve you to be poor, it doesn't serve you to struggle, you're not on this planet to struggle. So have a look at those beliefs, do some tapping, and if you have to, rename it, you know, just say this is money energy. I love money energy. Money energy pays for my bills and my food and my rent and it keeps me, you know, it has keeps me with a, a warm fire, which you can hear correctly in the background, you know, and just change your perception of it so that you feel happy charging for it. And then the more and the happier you are charging for your services, the happier are people are to pay for them as well. If you're always sort of going, oh well, oh, I'm sorry, is that a bit much? Um, oh yeah, maybe I should do uh, yeah. the, the more hesitant you are to charge people, the more people are going to think, oh well, is what they're offering any good? You know, maybe, because if you're offering your services too cheaply or for free, people aren't going to value what you have to offer. People aren't going to, you know, if you're life coaching somebody and you're charging a small amount, then maybe they won't even take your advice, maybe, they won't, maybe it won't even help them. You know, so you're actually doing people a disservice by not charging adequately for your services and for your gifts. So if you can start to change your perception in that way, you start to see it in a different way, then hopefully that will help you when it comes to actually pricing your services and charging for your services. Because you deserve the money energy. You deserve to receive in exchange for what you are giving an equal amount that actually then helps you to continue doing your mission. So I hope that was helpful. And if you are enjoying these videos, please do share them with your friends and please do subscribe to my channel. And I look forward to seeing you in February. Bye.